Yeah. Uh, we start with the topic. Engineering materials. It is the foundation for your material science. First of all, what is a material? It is that out of which anything can be made or is made. Its classification is as in metals. ceramics, organics, composites and semiconductors. What is the metal? Basically, metals can be further again classified into ferrous and non-ferrous. Metals are composed of elements which give up electrons ready thus providing a metallic bond and gives electrical conductivity it has properties like luster hardness low specific heat strength, ductility, malleability, stiffness, rigidity, formability, machinability, Major examples you know very well iron, copper, aluminium, zinc, they all are metals. Then we have ceramics. What are ceramics? They are basically oxides, nitrides, carbides, silicates or borides of various metals. They are also said to be as inorganic, non-metallic solids which are used at high temperatures. Ceramics have properties like they are highly brittle they have got rock like looks temperature resistant they are very hard 
they have abrasive properties. properties. They also work as insulation for current. They are corrosion resistant. Fine. Examples are sand, glass, bricks, cement, concrete, insulators. basically carbon compounds and have long molecular chains. basically carbon waste. Examples are rubber, plastics, paper, fuels, paints, textiles. They have properties. They are lightweight. They are combustible. They are soft to touch, they are ductile and poor connectors. classification uh, there is one more thing which is called as polymer which is part of organic materials they are basically plastic and rubber materials then is composites what are composites? Material. This is a material which consists of more than one material type. Type. They are said to be composites. Most of them they are organic compounds they have low densities and are flexible in nature last one like semiconductors semiconductors play a very important role in modern day life, all computers, all electronic gadgets, they come into the preview of semiconductors only. Uh, they have basically uh, different, neither they are, uh, neither they are conductors, nor they are insulators, but they show a uh, remarkable
remarkable change in conduction properties with the change of temperature computers cell phones all electronic gadgets are part of semiconductors now before studying material science there are certain properties which are associated with engineering materials we talk about a uh, few of them first of all what is elasticity it is a property because of which material opposes any change in its shape and size due to external force means it tries to regain its original shape once the external force has been removed then there is a definition called hooke's law the law states that stress is directly proportional to strain within elastic limits similarly associated with this is modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity the law says that ratio of stress to strain is a constant and is called as young's modulus which is denoted by y or e Similarly, we have shear modulus, which means ratio of shear stress to shear strain. The Poisson's ratio. We have a specimen of length L and. radius r it is given a downward force the length of the specimen increases by an amount delta l and radius decreases by delta r then poisson's ratio denoted by nu is nothing but lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain means it is delta r by r upon delta l by l is taken as negative because this value decreases what is factor of safety is the ratio of yield stress to working stress yeah, it is called as factor of safety similarly we have few more terms plasticity plasticity is it is uh means body does not regain its shape and size after removal of force similarly we have ductility you people are very much aware of this definition the 
utility and uh, malleability they go side by side ductility means the metal can be formed into wires malleability is can be formed into sheets brittleness is nothing but lack of ductility what is hardness resistance to indentation or machining or penetration or scratch is called as hardness then we have uh, toughness what is toughness it is also called as tenacity it is ability of material to tolerate impact pretty what is pretty it is fracture under repeated load or fluctuating load and the last is stiffness resistance offered to to deformation within elastic limits its opposite is flexibility flexibility is opposite to stiffness so this was the basic introduction to engineering materials and their properties i hope you are able to discuss the lecture in case you have any problems you can sit further thank you